The second wave was divided into three groups. One was tasked to attack Kaneohe flying boats, and the rest were to attack Pearl Harbor. Japanese pilots had maps to orient themselves above the Pearl Harbor naval base. The second wave consisted of 171 planes, 54 B-5N5s, 81 D-3A1s, and 36 A-6M2s.
in front of the maps in the operations room, expecting to hear reconnaissance reports from the Tome and Chikuma seaplanes, which had been dispatched about 30 minutes before. The first report from the Chikuma's plane came in. It read, the enemy fleet is not in the Haina anchorage. The enemy fleet is in Pearl Harbor. How pleased we were to receive this report. Instinctively, Admiral Nagumo and all of his staff officers looked at each other and could not suppress their smiles. The only thing remaining was to await the results of the attack. Vice Admiral Ryunosuke Kusaka, Chief of Staff, First Air Fleet. Japanese forces estimated results of the attack on Pearl Harbor to be phenomenal. They achieved complete surprise, and according to pilots' reports, several ships and a large number of aircraft were destroyed. American forces in the Pacific suffered shattering losses. Several battleships, the pride of both sides' navies, were destroyed. Japan implemented an unprecedentedly bold plan. Six aircraft carriers came almost close to the naval base of the enemy, attacked it suddenly, and achieved complete success in their attack. It was the real triumph for the Japanese Navy. Besides success in Pearl Harbor, the Japanese forces managed to occupy a small island of Wake, which was located in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, and had a runway defended by a small marine garrison. Though not without losses among warships, the island's defense was overwhelmed and the landing troops freely landed on its territory. In January 1942, Japan landed its forces in Burma, the Dutch East Indies, New Guinea and Solomon Islands. On February the 15th, it surrounded 130,000 soldiers during the Battle of Singapore. And in May, the rest of American and English forces yielded themselves in the Philippines. Occupation of all these territories was stipulated by the general plan before the beginning of the war. Therefore, all subsequent military actions were conducted by Japan in accordance with new plans which were developed after the beginning of the war. Inspired by success of the first months of war, the Japanese considered that they could act on the offensive in utterly different divisions simultaneously. And then the Japanese needed to seize Port Moresby, the major stronghold of the Allies, which was both the way to Australia and the last bulwark of the Allies in the region. The plans also included occupation of the Tulagi Island, aimed at establishing a float seaplane base there. Japan established several formations for the operation, so each of them could act promptly and independently of others. This tactic, as they believe, allowed them to fulfill several tasks simultaneously. The 5th Aircraft Carrier Division was assigned for the operation. It comprised Zukaku and Shokaku aircraft carriers, which were to protect the landing force by the aircraft. 